Mexico. Good instructions given by the ref in the early going. Mike gets the, with the right hand and AT on his down. He was really nailed. Good instructions given by the ref in the early going. Mick, get with the right hand at his down. He was really with a right head. It's up the five. The boxing world is buzzing with anticipation, as two of the sport's most talked about figures, Jake Paul and Mike Tyson, are set to face off in what promises to be a highly entertaining and contentious match. This fight pits the youthful energy and social media prowess of Jake Paul against the legendary status and raw power of Mike Tyson. With his 10th victory recently, Jake Paul may have quieted many of his critics since the start of his boxing career. Doubts about the caliber of his opponents have lingered. Skepticism about Mike Perry's boxing experience and the size difference continue to arise. Nevertheless, it's impossible to ignore the significant draw that the problem child has become over the years. Punches you are hitting him with you are you are just so destructive yeah. I don't know how he took all those, but and I knew that I knew that was going through your head as well, uh, I was like bro, what the just give it up buddy, or is Cora just halting the fight? I don't know, but my arms are sore today from all the punches and putting the damage on them. Thank you man. Hey, where did you find that left hand from dude, we've been working on it. What the hell I said, I'm standing there in the freaking second row, I'm watching, I'm looking, I'm like Jake, you got a left nail, you got a jab. And I'm screaming jab jab. Because you hit him with one of the jabs really connected like I think maybe round 3, something like that, round 2, round 3. And you wobbled him with driven by ambitions that surpass a 6 feet frame. The Ohioan is seeking ever great. The YouTuber turned fighter looks to be gathering support from unexpected quarters, including some of the highest levels of contemporary boxing. Terence Crawford is only 10 days away from making his late middleweight debut against Israel Madov at Stadium in Los Angeles anxious to make his mark in a third weight class. Crawford may possibly have his sights on a loftier target. Canelo Alvarez's ambition might explain why he resonates with Jake Paul in a recent episode of MMA Hour with R. Helvani. The former undisputed welterweight champion asserted that it's about time people start showing Jake Paul the respect he's earned. It appeared as though Bud Crawford was driving in Las Vegas. The obvious question, did you watch the Jake Paul fight on Saturday night, was then posed to him by Helvani. He did indeed see the match. And then came the next question. The Nebraskan believes the Ohioan has significantly elevated his performance. He praised the latter's boxing skills, noting that unlike many other YouTube boxing enthusiasts, Jake Paul trains diligently and remains dedicated to the sport. As a result, Paul improves daily, but the Mike Tyson fight still looms ahead. Crawford, on the other hand, does not appear to be prepared to pay for the highly anticipated fight between a former YouTuber and a professional boxer. He claimed that Mike Tyson was no longer at his best, despite everything he had given to the sport. I wouldn't want to see Mike go in the ring and get hurt in a fight, he said. Bud Crawford stated that the situation has become more complex due to the new medical issue. Paul revealed his future ambitions. As Ariel Helvani pointed out, he may be aiming for a cruiserweight division bout or a championship fight. Terence Crawford also maintained a positive outlook on what the Ohioan could achieve, highlighting his strong right hand. However, Crawford pointed out that Paul has been building his resume from the ground up, much like any other boxing prospect. He noted how sometimes established names try to capitalize on Jake. Paul's popularity for fame and financial gain, according to Crawford, the problem child like any other professional boxer, is gradually growing his profile rather than pursuing a title. Jake is still in the learning process, so you know he's taking his time. And that's what you should do. Take his time, keep getting better, keep learning new tricks and things like that in the ring, and keep getting more experience. When Terence Crawford is ready, he might ultimately confront a true boxing bout. In his perspective, the early years are vital for establishing ring IQ, building stamina, and understanding the nuances of boxing. Only after this groundwork is established can the fighter grow and advance to more major matches. It's obvious that many Jake Paul fans may see this as a recipe for success. These opinions are very important because they originate from one of the greatest in the industry. Meanwhile, Joe Rogan held nothing back when predicting who would win between Mike and Jake Tyson. Tyson's age has been widely discussed as he is 30 years older than Paul and hasn't fought in a professional match since 2005. But UFC analyst Rogan has maintained that Tyson still possesses the abilities to that Tommy Fury fight, definitely demonstrated that it gets to a split decision against a legitimate undefeated boxer, talking about Mike Tyson. Rogan stated, I don't care if he's 58, 
Mike Tyson is still Mike Tyson. He trains with Rafael Cordo, who is a legend in MMA and runs King's Mixed Martial Arts. Rafael is a world-renowned trainer when you see him holding the mitts for Tyson while Tyson is crushing the Miz Jesus. That dude can still FCK you up. Rogan mentioned that in today's world with hormone replacement and vitamins, Mike Tyson uses electrical muscle stimulation recovery techniques. He noted that during Tyson's training for the fight with Roy Jones, state-of-the-art science was employed, despite Tyson being 58 years old. Rogan believed he could still inflict significant harm. He suggested that if Jake Paul were to face Tyson in the ring and see him bobbing and weaving Paul would have a moment of realization. Jake Paul secured a six-round knockout victory over Mike Perry, paving the way for his upcoming fight against Mike Tyson in November. He went on to say that at this age, power is the last thing to go, but the speed is still there, which is terrifying. I'm not sure what he did with Roy Jones Jr., but in my mind, they made some sort of agreement where Mike wasn't going to punch him in the face, because most of the hits he hit him with unless it was a jab was to the body. Tyson was considered as one of the most dangerous and feared boxers in the world, but his peak years are long gone, with his last victory dating back to 2003, when he knocked out Clifford at end. Paul is a 27-year-old boxer with a 10-1 record, and despite his lackluster performance, his seven knockout victories on his record suggest he is a dangerous fighter. Despite the potential drawbacks of the fight, former UFC welterweight champion Tyron Woodley who has spent more time in the ring with Paul than anyone else, assures that it's a worthwhile endeavor. Woodley stated on the Fighter vs. The Writer podcast, I'm a fan of the fight, Mike Tyson is almost 60. But are you trying to see Mike Tyson so he still has the same fear in your heart that he had a long time ago? Woodley anticipated getting a glimpse of the Tyson fight when he commented on Paul's victory over Perry this past weekend as a member of the broadcast team. Recognizing that Perry was the shorter, smaller fighter, Woodley expected the BKFC star to use a strategy akin to Tyson's approach to overcoming size disadvantages throughout his career. But Perry ultimately couldn't use the same strategies as Tyson, which Woodley believes is what truly led to his defeat. Woodley stated, I know Mike Perry has been training that style before he even got to the UFC. I watched all of his videos and I hear him talking about the Mike Tyson peekaboo style. What that means is that as the person is punching, you're going to slip in and cover ground, you're going to buy real estate. So off of a jab off of a cross. If you're good enough to see it and slip it, you have to be good enough to step inside as well. Woodley explained that Mike Tyson is shorter than many of his opponents. Woodley believes Tyson does not face those same problems because his coaches essentially created that unique fighting style for him, which Tyson used throughout his career. While this style may not secure victories against today's top heavyweight boxers, it's still sufficient for dealing with a much less experienced opponent like Paul. Furthermore, Woodley stated that Tyson had performed thousands, if not tens of thousands, of the same drill, and that Custom had trained him in a Tyson was a machine trained for his unique body type, height, and abilities, particularly his power. A style was designed specifically for him, one that had not previously existed. Woodley noticed that Tyson's hand location was unique. He maintained his hands at his chin rather than high on his head so he could take a shot to the forehead without being knocked out. When Tyson slipped offline, he would be at the optimal distance, a position Perry needed to attain. Woodley added that people watch it and just attempt to execute it. But if you don't complete the drills, you're 